May we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Tucking our tummy in at our navel, elongating our spine, meaning we are not sunken. Nice elongated spine gives us control of our bodies. As we relax our shoulders downward away from our ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Softly gazing the eyes downward towards the earth or closing them, if that feels good for you. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good. As we take a nice deep intentional breath in, exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Noticing how the breath feels within the body as we relax silent meditation or natural breaths. As we relax our palms on the sides of our bodies, palms are connected to the yoga mat. As we are tuning into our environment, taking a moment to check in with what is going on around us right here, right now. During our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into that seated salute, fingertips close up towards the heavens, elongating that spine with our shoulders flowing up towards the ears. Interlacing our fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. I'm gonna hold this two more breaths. Exhale and back center, separating the palms. We are in our seated extended mountain. Twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, we are in that seated twist. To go deeper in that twist, we can connect this left hand to that right knee. Taking nice, subtle breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into a seated star. In our star, our palms are slightly outward towards the side. As we twist the bodies towards the left, palms come down, gazing over that left shoulder. We are in our seated twist, opposite side. Optioning to connect that right hand to that left knee, going deeper in that twist. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that star. Exhaling to our seated extended mountain. Breathing to our salute, palms are together. Breathing to heart center, seated prayer. Relaxing those palms at heart center. Shoulders relaxes downward away from the ears. Slightly gaze down at the yoga mat or close any eyes. Taking a moment to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. Noticing how we feel in our present moment, being aware without judgment, simply taking notice. Always remembering to be kind and loving 
to oneself. Two more breaths. Exhale in our feet to a bound position, coming into a diamond or butterfly. The bottoms of our feet are connecting. Connecting our hands to our feet. We are using this pose to loosen and relax and open up our hip flexors here. And if we choose, we can slightly hinge at the hips, noticing that when we bend forward, you may feel it a little deeper in your inner thighs. So only going down as deep as your body comfortably allows you to go, allowing the shoulders to melt forward, allowing that head to relax downward towards your feet, Tummies are nice and tucked at our navel. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming back to that diamond or that butterfly, using our hands to breathe our legs in, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side, toes are pointing up towards the heavens. Spinal cords are nice and elongated. Palms are relaxed on our legs as we are gaze forward. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we slightly hinge at the hips, have forward fold. We can go deeper if we choose, going into that complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet, if that feels good for you. You may feel that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Allowing the shoulders to melt forward, allowing the head to relax downward towards the knees. We're gonna hold this three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale enough to have forward fold as we come back to our staff pose. Holding this pose, checking in with body, seeing how we feel as we breathe this right leg up in the air, right foot is flat on the earth. And if we choose, we can cross this right foot over that left foot. We're gonna take this right hand behind our backs. We are in our Lord of the Fish pose. This is the spinal twist as we gaze over that right shoulder. If we choose, we can cross this left elbow over that right knee and come deeper in that twist. You may feel your spinal cord cracking, soothing, and decompressing. Three more breaths. Exhale and back to center. I'm crossing that foot, coming back into that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Taking a nice breath. As we breathe this left foot up in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. If we choose, we can cross this left foot over that right leg. Taking this left hand behind our back, fingertips faces away from us. As we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist, we can option to bring this right arm over that left knee going deeper into this twist. Relaxing and soothing here in our Lord of the Fish for three more breaths. And exhaling back to center, uncrossing crossing that leg, coming back into a staff pose as we hinge at the hips, coming into a half forward fold or a complete forward fold. Take a nice, subtle breath here. Exhale into half forward fold. Coming back up to our staff pose as we cross our feet at our ankles. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Tabletop pose. Palms are flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna drop the body down to cow. Tummies come down towards the earth. Your chin is slightly up. This cow pose is good for low back pain. We're gonna hold this. Three more breaths. 
two breaths. Exhale into cat, breathe in the chin to the clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens, tucking the tummy in at the navel. Two more breaths. Lower back to cow. Feeling the movements in the body. Noticing how this feels in the lumbar back. Lower back to our cat. Exhaling back to table. As we breathe our right leg towards the back, we're going to cross that right leg up, working on that gluteus maximus. Fill in the burn as we are gaze forward and tummies are tucked. Three more breaths. Finding pause at center. We're going to bend that right knee, breathing that foot up in the air, coming into that tiger pose, lifting or squeezing that gluteus maximus up in the air, filling that gluteus maximus, lifting and tighten. We are in our tiger pose. If we choose, we can connect this left hand to that right foot and that tiger, or we can connect our right hand to that right foot and our tiger. Or we can simply just stay both palms flat on the earth with that foot up, Squeezing that gluteus maximus. Whatever feels good for you. Four more breaths. Two breaths. <clears throat> Flowing back to table. Gonna drop down to cow. <sighs> Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table. As we breathe our left foot towards the back, feeling that stretch, we're gonna pulse that left leg up, working and rounding and squeezing that gluteus maximus. Yes, we are rounding and lifting our buttocks here today. Tummies are tight, we are gaze forward. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we find that pause, we're gonna come into that tiger, breathe in that knee, breathe in that foot up in the air. We're gonna lift that gluteus maximus, filling that buttocks crunch, rounding and lifting here. We are in our tiger pose. We can hang out here and relax, or we can connect our left or right hand to our foot. Whatever feels best for you here in our tiger. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly exhaling out, coming back to that table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we breathe our right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our right fingertips, breathe in. We're gonna flow into a thread the needle, threading that right arm through the left heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth, buttocks is high in the air. We can extend that left arm in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Or we can wrap that left arm behind our backs here and our thread the needle as we relax and soothe four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, coming to our hands and our knees, coming to table. As we breathe this left arm up in the air, feeling that stretch, fingertips flows up towards the heavens. As we gaze up at the fingers, breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth. As our blood axis high in the air, we're going to relax and soothe, softly gazing the eyes down. Maybe our right arm is extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, or maybe we're going to wrap that right arm behind our knees. Whatever feels good for you, four breaths. 
Slowly coming out of that thread and needle, finding a body back in the tabletop, dropping down to cow. Mm. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Mm. Walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Tummies are tight. We're gonna find our pause. We're gonna breathe our knee to our elbow, feeling that crunch. We're gonna flow to a three-legged dog, lifting that right leg up in the air, gazing at the foot. Exhale, knee to elbow. Working our arms and our gluteus maximus. I'm sorry, working our arms and our abdominal. Back to three-legged. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. We're gonna walk our dog pedal on our feet. We're gonna keep on flowing. Bringing our left knee to our left elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Working our arms, working our core. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Feeling a burn. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Coming on to our forearms, dolphin pose. Buttocks is high in the air. We are on our forearms, gazing back at our feet. Optioning to pulse up and down on your tippy toes if you choose. Three more breaths. Coming down to our knees, we're gonna flow into a puppy pose. Buttocks is high in the air, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our arms, our hands are extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth, you're in an extended puppy pose. Third eye chakra, the forehead is connected to the earth. With the eyes gaze down, five breaths. Two more breaths. With the palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to wave that body forward, filling it in your spine, using our palms to wave our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. Spinal wave in the body, we are relaxing and soothing and decompressing that spine, feeling that tummy get nice and tight as we wave. <sighs> feeling the body soothe and relax. Three more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming to table, dropping to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to table as we push our bodies up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our right foot to our right hand, runner's lunge. Just holding us for two more breaths. Breathe into pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head relaxes downward. Mm -hmm. Exhale back to runner's lunge. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. 
As we walk that left foot to left hand, run a slunge opposite side. Holding this pose, two more breaths. Exhale a pyramid, straightening that front leg, torso head relaxes downward over that thigh. You'll feel the stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Two more breaths. Exhale back to run his lunge. Breathe down dog. As we walk our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. Feeling this stretch behind the legs. Yes, we are working and stretching and lengthening our hamstrings here today. As the head melts down, we're going to take nice, subtle breaths here in this complete forward fold. Two more breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, slightly gaze forward. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance. Breathe back to complete forward fold, hands connects to the ankles. And if we choose, we can flow into a rag doll, connecting our hands to our elbows. Optioning to rock and sway the body from side to side, if that feels good. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, coming into half forward fold, slightly gaze forward. Ah. Breathing to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. As we breathe our palms above our head in our standing extended mountain. Palms are not together, they are separated extended mountain. As we lean our bodies towards the right, standing side bend, slightly gazing up at the heavens if that feels good. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center. Leaning the body to the opposite side, standing side, bend. Gazing up at the heavens if you choose. Exhaling back to center, breathing our hands to our salute, palms all together. Interlacing our fingers, pointing finger points up towards the heavens as our arms slightly flow towards the back. Heart chakras open, chin is up, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Breathing our palms at heart center. Standing prayer. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from our ears. Closing the eyes or gazing the eyes down. Taking a moment to check in with self. Noticing how we feel right here, right now in our present moment. Three breaths of silence. Exhale, half forward fold, keeping our palms at heart center, feeling that stretch behind the legs and the hamstrings. Gaze forward, three more breaths. Exhale and complete forward fold, reaching the hands downward towards the earth. Slightly bending the knees, Palms, hands are straight downward as we float them towards the back, like we're ready to take off. And we're gonna shoot our bodies up, standing up to a standing extended mountain. Straight up in the air, feeling nice and tall and strong like a mountain. Our feet are planted into the earth. Our arms are extended into the heavens, into the universe. As we are planted, we are rooted, and we are also going places. We are dreaming, we are visionaries. 
We are going to new ways, new mountains, new areas, new revenues of life. Keeping in mind, no matter how far we go, how successful we come, how happy we may be, may we always be rooted and grounded in who we are. May we always be true to ourselves. Yes, we can fly high and we can always be grounded and rooted at the same time. Always being humble. As we relax here on this thought, three breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms together to our salute. Exhale down to prayer. Relaxing those shoulders down away from the ears. Slightly hinging at the hips, half forward fold. Breathing to a complete forward fold. As we walk our hands forward, legs to the back, down dog. Breathing our right foot to our right hand. We are in that runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're gonna flow our bodies up to our warrior to do. Feeling strong, feeling powerful as we balance and stretch here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior, feeling that stretch in the back. Slightly gazing upwards, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. As we breathe to side angle, crossing that right arm over that right thigh, breathing that left arm up in the air. We are in an extended side angle. We also can wrap this left arm behind our backs if we choose and gaze over that left shoulder. Whatever you option to do, three more breaths. <clears throat> Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Breathe warrior one, twisting the body forward, palms are up in the air, warrior one, or high lunge, whatever feels best for you. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Twisting the body forward, wide-legged forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles, feeling that stretch, head melts down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Walking the hands forward, bringing the legs together, down dog. As we breathe our left foot to our left hand, run us lunge, opposite side. <clears throat> Exhaling up to warrior two. A little warrior two. Building strength and balancing here. We're gonna hold this. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, reverse warrior. Feeling that slight back bend, gazing up at the left fingertips or gazing up at the ceiling, the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale back, warrior two. As we breathe to side angle or extended side angle, we also can wrap that right one behind our backs and slightly gaze over that right shoulder to feel that slight spinal twist. Whatever you choose, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back, warrior two. Twist 
twist the body forward, warrior one, or high lunge. Arms are up in the heavens. Gazing forward, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two, Feel the movements here. Twisting the body forward, wide-legged forward fold, allowing that head to relax down, connecting the hands to the ankles, four breaths. Option to rock his way to body from side to side. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, walking our hands forward, breathing our legs together, down dog. Hmm. Flow into a high plank, shifting the weight forward, tummies are tight. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling down to a low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Three breaths. Exhaling down onto our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. This is a slight back bend. Shoulders are not shrugged. Shoulders are away from the ears. Chin is slightly up. Taking a moment to take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As our eyes are fluttered down with a close, may we relax silent meditation for natural breaths. Exhale into a baby cobra. Slightly pushing our torso away from the earth. You'll feel that slight back bend. Our elbows are slightly bent here in our baby cobra. Chin is up. Exhale into cobra, straightening those elbows a little more. Torsos further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend. Chin is up. Untucking those toes, exhale up dog, taking those thighs off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Breathe back to high plank, shifting the weight forward. Exhale to our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Knees are hip distance apart, palms flat on the earth as we drop down to cow. Chin is up. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks, finding our bodies in a seated pose. Only for a second, we're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a reclined position, hugging our knees into our backs. I'm sorry, <laughs> hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. With the shoulder blades relaxed into the yoga mat. As we extend our legs up in the air, we are in our legs on the wall pose. If anyone is tired and want to just go up to the wall and keep their legs on the wall pose for the remainder of the practice, feel free to do so. Otherwise, we're going to have our legs up on an invisible wall. Two more breaths. As we reach our hands down to the backs of our legs, we're going to breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth, feeling this full body stretch. Three breaths.
And exhale the legs back up to the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest. <sighs> Relaxing the body. As our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. Feeling that spine be compressing soon. <sighs> Breathing that right arm out to the side like a lowercase t. As we are gazed up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder for a deeper twist. Whatever feels best for you. Five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. As our knees flow towards the left, I'm sorry, as our knees flow towards the right, we climb spinal twist opposite side. Left arm goes out to the side like a lowercase t. Shoulder blades are melted back into the yoga mat. As we are gaze forward or gaze over that left shoulder. Eyes are slightly flooded shut, if that feels good. As we relax, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. Keeping our knees up in the air, we're going to allow our feet to come flat to the earth. We're going to work on our bridge pose. So knees are up in the air, feet are flat on the earth, palm or flat on the earth next to our buttocks. Shoulder blades are melted back into the earth. Eyes are gazed down and closed. I'm just going to relax here and hang out here for three breaths of silence. As we slowly awaken, we're going to use our feet and our palms to lift our buttocks up in the air. You're going to feel your gluteus maximus squeeze and tighten. Rounding and lifting back gluteus maximus muscle. You're going to feel the burn. You're going to feel the tightness, shall I say. And if we want to go deeper, we can bring our palms together underneath our buttocks, interlacing our fingers and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine. You'll notice your chest comes higher in the air and your hip flexors come higher in the air. This is a pelvic tilt. This pose is good for people who sit in office chairs all day, lifting that pelvic bone forward, squeezing and tightening that gluteus maximus as well. And we can pause it up and down here in our bridge, or we can simply stay still. Whatever feels good for you. We also can flow into a three-legged bridge or an extended bridge by breathing the left and or right leg up in the air one at a time. It's called the three-legged bridge or an extended bridge. Optioning to switch sides. We're gonna freestyle here in our bridge, doing what feels best for us. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Slowly exhaling down out of our bridge. Relaxing our buttocks back down to the earth, uninterlacing those fingers, untucking those shoulders, breathing knees to chest, hugging those knees into the chest. <sighs> Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Now with no shoulders to relax towards the back. 
of the yoga mat. As our knees flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, three breaths. Exhale and back center, knees to chest. Recline spinal twist, right side. Knees flow to the right, three breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles with our knees hugged to our chest. Two more breaths. As we come up, working our core, our abdominal muscles, coming into a boat pose, squeezing the abdominal muscles, feeling that nice tight abdominals here. We're gonna come into that boat pose. We can keep our ankles, our feet crossed at our ankles, or we can bring our legs parallel side by side. You'll feel this working your core and your obliques. Our backs are nice and straight. We can extend our arms up in the air, coming into that extended boat, or keep our palms next to our legs, lower legs. Whatever you choose, we're gonna gaze forward with our tummy muscles nice and tight. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. We're gonna hold this, bring our hands in. We're gonna pound our hands from side to side. Working our obliques a little more. Coming out of this pose whenever you choose. Five breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, breathing our knees to our chest, bringing our feet to our hands. <sighs> Holding our feet in our hands. We're gonna work on a boat pose variation, extending that left leg out towards the side, feeling that stretch. Left leg comes out to the side, you'll feel that stretch right here behind your legs, here in the hamstrings. Backs are straight, tummies, our core is tight. Chin is slightly up. Two more breaths. Slowly bringing that leg back inward as we extend that right leg out towards the side. Feeling that stretch opposite side. Core muscles are tight. Spinal cord is elongated. Chin is up. Gaze forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the feet back in. We're gonna extend that left leg back out to the side. Extending that right leg out to the side. We are in that full boat pose variation. Also like to call this V pose or bear pose. Feet are relaxed in the hands. Core muscles are tight. Backs elongated. If we should bend our backs, we may fall over. So the trick to staying up and not falling over is keeping that back nice and elongated. Core muscles tight. We can widen that V if we choose. We can bring that V inward. Noticing that when we bring our legs inward or we'll widen the V, you'll feel it work in different parts of the muscles and the core. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our legs back in, keeping our feet in our hand. Just for a second, coming back to that boat pose. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles, going up and down, up and down. You'll feel your core muscles working here. Backs are straight. We're just playing around, working our abdominals for a couple more breaths here. Making our core nice and strong. Six more breaths. Four breaths. Three breaths. Finding our pause. 
come into our diamond or butterfly. Relax in the body. This here is a counter pose for what we just did. Allowing this pose to relax and soothe is also opening up our hip flexors. If we choose, we can allow our torso, our head to relax downward towards our feet, towards our feet. Basically, we're hinging at the hips if that feels good. Take a nice subtle breath here. <sighs> Exhaling back up the center, coming into that diamond or that butterfly as we flow into our seated cow. Heart chakras open, chin is up, head relaxes between our shoulder blades. Cow pose. Three breaths. Tummy sit tight. Two more breaths. As we flow to our cat, tucking our, tucking our chin in at our clavicle. Tummies are tight at our navel. Spinal cord flows towards the back of the room. Head pose. Three breaths. Feeling those shoulders relax downward. Two more breaths. Flowing back to cow. Mm. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our diamond or our butterfly as we cross our feet into a cow face. Breathe in our one leg goes down with the other leg comes over top of it. We are in a cow face pose. We're going to be long and smooth here. Tummies are nice and tight. Spinal cord is long. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Feeling the body relax and soothe. Our eyes are slightly gazed down with a close. Listening to the silence, being comfortable with the silence. Or maybe it's noisy where we're at. Maybe our surroundings are noisy. Whatever it may be, being comfortable with where we are and what's happening around us in our present moment. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms their heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Thumbs are touching our sternum. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Lower the palms above the head in a salute. Palms are together. As we come into an extended mountain, separating the palms. Twisting the body towards the right. Palms come down towards the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder. Spinal twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into a seated star. Twisting the body towards the left. Palms come downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. Seated twist. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that seated salute. Palms flows together above the head. Palms are touching. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale, relaxing the palms at heart center. Shoulders relax down. Breathe in deeply. Exhale through the mouth. 
as we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Peace and blessings be to you, love and light. Until next time, take care, have a great day. Namaste.